What is Summerlin South? And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my Summerlin series. And in this series, I will be going over what exactly is Summerlin South? What? <laughs> Did you know that Summerlin is divided into three distinct communities or HOAs? Well, we have Summerlin North, which I did a video on, Summerlin South, which I'm doing a video on, and Summerlin West, which I will be doing a video on, or if not, may already be out, okay? So the HOA for Summerlin North is $50 a month. HOA for Summerlin South is roughly around $48 a month. And HOA for Summerlin West is the same $48 a month as well, okay? So that's what it is. You know, as I've said in numerous videos, Summerlin is the largest master plan community here in the Las Vegas Valley and encompasses over 22,000 acres and it is still growing and it will continue to grow for at least another 20 years. Maybe the way things are going right now, those years may have shortened. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so as your Summerlin expert, I like to go over everything that is related to Summerlin. And a lot of people are like, what's Summerlin North? What's Summerlin West? What's Summerlin South? I have a website, summerlincommunities.com. I have it divided into each of those different districts. Um, but Summerlin is part of Las Vegas and is in the Las Vegas zip code. It's not a city, it's a master plan community. If you wanna learn more about the difference between Henderson versus Summerlin, I've done a video up above. Again, Henderson is a city in Nevada, and it's the second largest city in Nevada, while Summerlin is the largest master plan community in Las Vegas. And technically, you really can't compare Henderson and Summerlin at all, period. Um, now, Summerlin's homes tend to be a lot more pricier than the rest of the valley. Now, if you want to compare Henderson and Summerlin, then you want to compare Seven Hills, Anthem, um, McDonald Ranch, McDonald Highlands, all those types of communities for price wise. Um, those are very kind of comparable to Summerlin prices. Now the rest of Henderson, you want to compare to the rest of Las Vegas home pricing, if that makes any sense. Summerlin South is considered one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in the Las Vegas Valley. And the reason so is because they have the ridges. And the Ridges is a guard gated community with an average home price over $2 million. So the goal of this video is to give you a timeline as to when each of the villages in Summerlin South were developed and any other major schools or whatever happened in Summerlin South was developed. Here's the list of villages in Summerlin South. You have Summerlin Center, the Willows Village, the Gardens Village, um, Red Rock Country Club, the Ridges, Ridgebrook, the Mesa Village, the Cliff Village, the Summit, and South Square Village. Those are all the villages in Summerlin South. And the zip codes are 89135 and part of 89148. So I'm gonna go over the historical timeline of when each of the villages were built in Summerlin South, as well as other milestones in this awesome community. So Summerlin Center was developed in 1997 and technically, really, Summerlin Center is not part of Summerlin South HOA, and it's not part of Summerlin North or Summerlin West. It's just part of Summerlin Center HOA, which I found interesting. The Willis was developed in 1997, along with the Willis Community Center and Park and the Willis Paseo Park. And Spotted Leaf Park was developed in 1997 as well. Then Red Rock Country Club was developed in 1998. Faith Lutheran Middle and High School was developed in 1998. The Gardens Village Community Center and Park was developed in 2000. Believe it or not, the Ridges was also developed in 2000. I thought it was a lot newer, but I guess not. Red Rock Country Club Clubhouse and Golf Course in 2000. 
Alexander Dawson's School at Rainbow Mountain, 2000. Forgive me, the DeVar and Hall Ober Elementary School, 2000. The E.W. Stanton Elementary School in 2000 as well. And then the Siena Golf Course in 2000. Bears Best Las Vegas opens in the Ridges in 2001. It's important to note that Sun City Summerlin, Siena, and Red Rock Country Club are private village developments with their own master associations, and they are not part of Summerlin's master plan community association structure. Ridgebrook Village was developed in 2001, John and Judy Gosby Elementary School in 2004, the Mesa Village 2004, um, the Mesa Park 2004, the Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa was developed in 2006, Bishop Gorman High School 2007, Face Middle School in 2007, uh, West Career and Technical Academy 2010, Wet and Wild Water Park in 2013, Downtown Summerlin opens actually in October 2014, um, the Cliffs Village 2015, the Summit 2015, the NHL Practice Facility breaks ground in 2016, City National Arena opens in 2017, Affinity opens in 2018, South Square in 2018, Trilogy in 2018, construction on the Las Vegas Ballpark begins in 2018, completion and opening of the Las Vegas Ballpark for the Las Vegas Aviators was completed in 2019, and Sage Park opens in 2019. So even though parts of Summerlin South are new, parts of it have been around since 1997. So Summerlin South was developed from 1997 to 2019 and still growing a little <laughs> because the, the completion of Summerlin South is going to be a while because we still have new home construction in the Cliffs Village and also the Mesa Village, Mesa Ridge by Toll Brothers. I'm going to go in alphabetical order of all the parks in Summerlin South. Number one is Gardens Park, Mesa Park, Oak Leaf Park, Ridgebrook Park, Sagemont Park, Spotted Leaf Park, Summerlin Center Community Park, the Willows Park and Pool, and the Village Green Park. So inside Summerlin South, there are two community centers. You have the Gardens Community Center, and then you have the Willows Community Center. But in the Willows, there is also um, the community pool. And another community pool in Summerlin South is Aquatic Springs Indoor Pool. It is a city pool, but it is inside the Summerlin South community. Now, I have done a video on mostly almost all of the villages in Summerlin South. I think the only ones I haven't done was the Summit um, and the Ridges because the Ridges and the Summit are guard-gated exclusive communities and I could not have access to either of those. But for the most part, I think I've done a video on all of them. I haven't really done South Square per se. I've done videos on Trilogy, but I haven't done the whole South Square. And what South Square is, is really Trilogy and Stonegate, which is a KB new home development. So that's your history and timeline of Summerlin South. Um, if you have any questions about the amenities that are offered in Summerlin South, you can always leave a comment down below. Um, I am your Summerlin expert, your Summerlin realtor. I have been covering Summerlin for over two years now on my YouTube channel. And I would like to think I know a little bit more than most, hopefully, right? I sell a lot in Summerlin, so I should know something. I used to live in Summerlin for 11 years. I should know something about it, right? <laughs> Anyways, if you are thinking about buying or selling in the Summerlin area, you can always give me a call at 702 370 5112. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button because I like talking about Summerlin. A lot about Summerlin. New constructions, all the villages, all the communities, you name it. I cover it all. Thank you so much for watching today, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.